Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at what Saturn wants you to know. I've got the Saturn cards from the Vedic Astrology deck and we'll draw from this and I've got these crystals today and the reason I have this is because we're going to use the same decks for every single reading. And the reason we're going to use the same decks for every reading is because Saturn is like there's a phrase I always like to use in connection with Saturn and that is let me try and remember it need is the mother of all invention so with Saturn you use fewer tools you don't use as much equipment or you don't need as much stuff to be creative or to do your thing. So I thought we'd use the exact same tarot cards per group. So in this case, you can choose from your crystal. And some of you, you really like having objects as identifiers. I've had quite a few comments in uh, my readings across the time I've been doing this that, please, could you put objects? I really need objects. I can't choose a pile if there's no object. The reason I don't do objects normally is because I'm not in my place and, and I don't want to ship a box full of rocks <laughs> back to my place. So I hope people are understanding that, you see, I, I've been very disciplined while I've been out here. I've only bought three crystals and I have the same three crystals. So that is why I don't use objects as identifiers because I yeah, I've, you know, it's, it's, I don't want to acquire too many things at the moment. Uh, and the other thing is that with Saturn, it's really good to use these crystals as identifiers because these take thousands of years to make, right? So this is a very Saturnian type of thing. So I had to have these uh, beautiful crystals here for Saturn. So as always, choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this very beautiful crystal, then you are in the right place. So let's draw some cards. Let's see what's going on. And we've only got a few decks here on the table today because this is Saturn. So we are going to work with fewer things, you know, uh, we don't need as many tools. <laughs> Let's shuffle properly. Come on. Let's see. Let's see what's here. Make it clear because there were two that were popping out. Again, there's two. We just want one. Yeah, let's take it. All right, and we've got the jar today. Last time I tried a new thing where the jar was a library. Gosh, that was something. That was interesting. That was fun for me to do, but it's not so easy. I would like to try another library, perhaps somewhere else in the world one day. I know Zaha Hadid, she created a pretty amazing library somewhere. I wanna to go to that one. <laughs> all right let's take this we'll take and we might work with fewer cards today as well how about that i was thinking about this last night that you know what would what would saturn like and i think let's go lean let's have a very swift reading today we've got these oh the hermit okay <laughs> it's just on the bottom there these are a little bit dusty as well I haven't used this deck in a long, long time. It'll be interesting to see what comes. All right, I think I think this is a pretty good start. Oh, of course, what does Saturn want us to know? Which Saturn? That one. All right, Saturn in the fifth. So let's take a look. Saturn in the fifth house brings responsibility to creativity. Marriage and children are delayed, knows their strengths and weaknesses, succeeds after many challenges. Okay. The other thing is that this is Saturn in Leo. So this is the 
like a natural limit on excess as well so this is the person who goes to the party yeah they enjoy the party but you know they'll stop after one drink kind of thing right so there's, there's, there's something sensible about saturn in leo saturn in leo is is responsible uh they and there's a natural limit on excess here all right so we have that as a start cool let's see what we've got here goblins okay interesting did we have this i think we had this a couple of weeks ago in group three if i remember correctly goblins interesting and where are the goblins well there's definitely one here and there's definitely one here and this thing is interesting this is like a treasure this is like a ring that's what i'm seeing there but again i'm not sure it's hard to make out. All right. We've got number five here as well. It's interesting. We've got five twice. So there could be, this is, you're going through some form of change. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. Well, that is a wild card. Shall we take it as a wild card? All right. Well, you've got a wild card on the table. I'll take it off the table, but you've got some form of wild card here. That's how I read those. When it's a card that is, you know, I, and so, a joker, I read that as a wild card as well. So perhaps there's something for you to choose. Look at that. You're getting the ability to choose again. Isn't that interesting? So this is not a bad card. This is kind of like a blank space type card. This is just the you know, they're, they're trying to sell you more decks. It's an ad as well. Interesting, we've got Saturn in Leo. Creativity, advertising, yes, that, that is cool there as well. But you, I'm going to take it as a wild card. You're getting the opportunity to choose again. Okay, so what are you getting the opportunity to choose again on? Let's take a look and see. There we go. All right, so... This is your card. Let's see what's here. All right, the devil. Wow, interesting group number one. This is fascinating. Judgment. Okay. And what do we have here? A card that doesn't want to be seen. Come on. You take that as well, wow, the Ten of Swords. Gosh, didn't you have that last time? This is interesting. Group number one. It kind of feels like there's some juicy stuff in here. Usually it's group number two who's my juicy group, but it's like there's something very interesting going on here. Um, I'm getting the sort of old temptations or something that is... But there's a limit. There's a hard limit here. And you were being asked to choose again, and yet the devil turns up. And it's kind of like the devil's going to keep turning up until you put this hard limit in place. So there's something about, because otherwise, if you, if you keep choosing this devil path, it's like you're going to have this ten of swords kind of thing and it's like at the moment you are being judged you're being judged for your choices it's kind of like maybe you're surrounded by temptation you're surrounded by because we've got goblins here as well it's got some really interesting energies present This is fascinating. Let's find out what's happening here with the devil. So it's interesting. You got a wild card. You, you had, it was, like, it was like an opportunity. It was like a blank space. And yet what comes? Bang, we've got the devil turn up again. And the devil is like... Um, well, it's a limit. It's like you're choosing a limit. Hmm. You're choosing something that's limited that leads to 
pain, right? You're choosing something that's limited that leads to pain. Again, it's like that, it's like, yeah, there's something about you keep choosing that. And I, and I think you know you, you do that as well, and that's okay. And this might be something you're consciously trying to change or do something about. But you see, because with the devil, look at that, they're chained. And you could choose freedom, right? So, and this could be the thing where, a very simple example of this is, because one of the ways I read the devil card, it's Capricorn. It's like we keep choosing to be in jobs. We keep choosing the rat race or we keep choosing the same type of job or we keep choosing to be in that, that same place. Whereas our soul wants to do something different or to be happy or to be free, you know. Our, our soul just wants to be free. So it's like this kind of thing that's going on here. I'm using the example of a job, but this could be, you know, it could be in your relationship sector. It could be, um, it could be all kinds of different things. So let's try and find out, okay, in what area of life is this happening? It could, and it can be to do with food or, or things that we take, or this could be all kinds of things. So let's see if we can get clear a little bit on what is this about. You've got two major arcana here as well, so powerful reading. Let's get a clarifier on this devil card. Maybe we might get some insight as to what area in life this is about. Queen of Discs, Nurture, all right. Well, let's not take it. She popped up, but let's just bear that in mind. So this could be relationships, this could be maybe you keep picking the same type of partner again and again or oh and I just had that yeah pick your poison like that phrase come in. But is there something that you keep doing repetitively? that keeps leading to the same outcome. And this is just, I'm not gonna read that as being bad or anything, It's but it's like, this is an outcome you don't want, <laughs> okay? So that's how I'm gonna read that 10 of swords there. Oh, the devil again, no way, this is insane. Oh, okay. But it's a nicer looking devil. <laughs> so there's an improvement here. So it's like maybe, yeah, and it's like maybe the jobs keep improving, but it's the same thing. Or maybe the partners keep improving. We had the Queen of Discs there, the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it, like you keep getting an upgraded version of the same thing, or they look the same, but at heart... No, they, they look like they, they've improved, but at heart they're the same. Something like that. Okay, so let's keep going here. I'll get, I'll get another one. The Devil Twice. Wow, it's like it's like it's limit, 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 limit. Because a shadow is a limit, as well. A, a, a negative thing. There's limits on all that. Whereas love is unlimited. It's infinite. Uh, what a love, light. You know, um, truth is real. You know, and anything else crumbles. Okay, and the limits they crumble, or there's a limit. To, to their life, right? So, because death is a limit is, as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, but our soul is eternal, it lives on. That's love, that's, that's so the soul is unlimited. Eight of Cups retreat, wow. Hmm. Meaning a phrase like stay away, like it's something you need to stay away from. And I'm getting as well the phrase that something that's not good for you. Wow. All right. What's the judgment card about? What are you being judged on? Nine of discs, culmination. 
Well, this is the material world. This could be to do with how you do your material world. Nine of Discs. Nine of Discs is like you're content on your own. This is, this is a wealthy person who's just happy, you know, doing well, being wealthy, all that. Maybe you're being judged on how you spend your money or spend your resources. Something like that could be something. Uh, or there's something to do with... Could even be that you know you need to save and yet you keep choosing to spend or something like that. You need to walk away. And you need to save money now. It could be like that. can be a relationship as well. So you apply this to you. You apply this to your life and see what this is. Eight of Swords, Isolation. Okay, so we've got two eights here. Two fives and two eights. Eight of Swords, Isolation. Eight of Cups, Retreat. Wow. This is interesting. And we had the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. The Fool, New Beginning. Okay. A bit dusty. Sorry, this deck gets a little bit dusty. Interesting. The Fool, New Beginning. There is a new beginning coming up for you. But I feel like there's some repetitive cycle that you're just, you're just kind of cycling through it. I think you're conscious of this. I think you know as well. And I think... There's a limit on this cycle. And yeah, I just had the word mastery pop into my mind as well. So there's something you're mastering here. Uh, this is fascinating. <laughs> I'm like, wow, group one. This is interesting. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we've got in here. And this has been a nice, elegant, lean reading. Look at that. We didn't use too many cards after all. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> so definitely trying to please Saturn here. I am wearing green, guys, and that is not Saturn's color. But he knows. He knows I wear this dark blue for him all the time. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, interesting. There is no amount of money in the world that will make you comfortable if you are not comfortable with yourself. Stuart Wilde. Fascinating. Okay, this I think this could be to do with money. Uh, and, and again, the, the specifics of this I'm not sure about, but I do feel like this is to do with money. Maybe it's just a recognition that, yeah, you don't need money to be happy. And usually the people who don't have too much money, they are the happiest. Sometimes your ego will try to convince you that it was the sacrifices that got you where you are today. Oh, amazing. Don't fall for this. Sacrifice is a role used to keep you from equality. And it's used to keep you from equality. It's used to keep you from your abundance. It's used to, so there's something that you're doing and it might be keeping you a victim as well. This Eight of Swords card can be read as victim. Okay, but I, I do think this has to do with earnings, money, how you earn money, how you create abundance, this kind of thing. And you might think if I work really, really hard, then I'll make lots of money, but that's, that's an ego trap. You don't want to be in that because there are so many people making such great money and they're not doing, they're not sacrificing themselves. If anything, they're attracting the abundance because they love themselves, because they look after themselves. You know, just today I read uh, a, a post by a guy and I've forgotten his name as well, but it's such a good post. And he said, um, that approval wants quantity, whereas your soul wants quality. And that's so true. You want a quality, equality, yeah. And, and you want a quality life. You want, you know, to have good health. You want to have good sleep. You want to have, eat well. You want to, you know, um, have time to be organized and look after your things and, and live a good life. You know, you need time for you. So don't just be sacrificing yourself in the pursuit of money. It's something like this. 
But group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group two, if you chose group number two or this beautiful rose quartz crystal, then you're in the right place. So let's take, let's put that there. There we go, I think that's good. Uh, let's take one of these, see what comes. I hope you're doing well wherever you are group two. Here in Sydney it is overcast, it's grey and yeah I think I'm going to edit this video. I think I'm going to like put my laptop in my bag and go somewhere beautiful to edit this video today. I'm just, I was almost going to film this somewhere else but I kind of want to find a new filming location as well. I feel like I want to go outdoors like because we are going to have good weather and when we have it I want to go somewhere nice. I liked last time at the university campus that was pretty good. Okay here we go and we'll have one of these. This is a nice spread actually. It's quite lean and it's good and we're using the same decks for everyone and the same setup. Nope, there we go. All right. Oh, and what does Saturn want to say? <laughs> Very important, most important part. And I didn't put group one's cards back in here. I put all the cards back in except this pile. So everybody gets a unique Saturn. Ooh, nice. Saturn in the seventh. Excels as a merchant, resides abroad, gains distinction internationally. Delayed marriage to older partner. Disciplined, hardworking, self-critical. Okay, so we've got that sat in there. And let's see. What we have is a nice calm energy here so far. Ooh, Wizard of Awareness. Cool, like it. We've had him here before. Number three, great. It's interesting we've got here older partner or mature person and this is the other so there is a mature person here as well so that is interesting that's being depicted here too great somebody very wise and this could be you you know you could be a young person but a very old soul as well wow death card okay something's coming to an end Interesting, we've got 313. The world, wow, two major arcana. Saturn is not messing around. We just had two major arcana, oh my gosh. Okay, big readings, guys. Big energy. What do we have here? Judgment, another major arcana. Ooh, this is huge. Big, big, big energy. Okay. And this is to do with, yeah, I mean, look, this could be to do with another person in your life. This could be to do with your marriage partner. This could be to do with business. There's a few areas that this could be about, but there is some kind of major cycle that's being closed here. It could be to do with how you do relationships, how you approach relationships. I think you're becoming a lot more wiser you, and you know, and I think you're kind of living in such a way that you know that you're being seen all the time, right? Because the divine is watching us all the time. And so you're, because you know that I'm being watched all the time, right? So they, they did this experiment on people, one of, you know that those um, psychological experiments they do on people, and they show they asked people to do a task or something, and with one group they said you're being filmed, and with the other group they said you're not being filmed, and they they 
went in and asked questions. Anyway, they were able to show, they were able to prove through this experiment that the people who were being filmed were more likely to be more moral, um, good, and all that kind of thing. Isn't that interesting through that experiment? And what I see here is that you are at this place where you're like, yeah, film me all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, you know, you, you can have your eyes on me all the time. Put a camera 24 seven. I'm good. All good on my side kind of thing, right? I'm getting that feeling here because there's a calmness here as well. There's like your, there's, yeah, there's just such a calmness. Where it's like, yeah, you, you can watch me, all good here, you know. Okay, let's see. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify this wizard of awareness. Three of cups, friendship. Yeah, I with you. I'm getting a good feeling here. This is a lovely card. This is just celebration. This is just good times. This is just, you know, all, all is good here kind of thing. It's like, yep, film me 24 <laughs> seven. You'll see that, you know, it's all, it's all good on my side. So ask for clarified for death card. Oh, three of swords. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's a, this is heartbreak. This is the end of a relationship. This is the end of a cycle in a relationship. It doesn't have to be the end of the relationship. Okay. Um, even, you know, people finish the relationship totally, but people come back around. There's all that kind of thing. So there is either an end of a cycle in a relationship or but this could be an old relationship that maybe you've um, you've dealt with, but I feel like you're cool on your side. The world, why is the world here? End of a cycle, the world. Let's take this one. Princess of Cups, dreams. This is you now. You're, you know, that there's there's. There's a, there is a major cycle that's ended. This is new love here. This is, you know, you feeling the love within yourself, you enjoying being you. This is good. Judgment, why is judgment here? Six of Discs, generosity. Wow, this is a nice compliment to judgment. And I think through, this is a thing of looking back at the past and recognizing where relationships haven't been equal or they haven't been fair. But again, I'm feeling that you're quite grounded and I think that you're up to speed. You know, you know that relationships in the past haven't been fair. I'm getting the phrase, you've done the work or you are doing the work, like you're, you're on it. You're in the know. And I think this is a massive recognition by Saturn that you are in your future, it has to change. You will now have to attract more appropriate relationships because you have changed, okay? So any of you have been, who are looking out for, you know, just, just the guidance or the acknowledgement that, am I doing the work? Have I really let go? You know, is it gonna be okay next time? Is it gonna be better next time? It will be, it will be. You have been doing the work. You've been doing amazing. This reading just feels so clear and like I haven't wanted to clarify on any one of these. Like I'm just feeling cool. Like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's good energy here. This is nice. And interestingly, I, I haven't felt 
the impulse to clarify on this three of swords I just I just don't feel the need to isn't that amazing normally I'm a little bit curious or I think oh let's check that out or I didn't have any of that here amazing because you're in such a good place I think there's a real like and yeah this is some kind of as well. This is some kind of line under the line in the sand. I always screw up that phrase. Is it line line under the sand? I always say, but it's something like line in the sand. It's like you know your worth and value as well, and I feel like you know that the next thing that comes in has got to be a match. It's got to be equal, and just and and that's the only thing that can come in. Because you're, you're so totally, your mind is so totally, mm, like you're, you're done here with this, right? You're really done. There just, there just does not need to be a repeat of it. And sure, we, we always attract in our type or a similar person. It's usually our D9 chart. D9 keeps coming again and again. But... When you do the spiritual work and you really clear and you really finish a cycle, as you have done, I mean, all of this is just finished a cycle, finished a cycle, finished a cycle. You've you've done it. So now the next thing that has to come in, yes, it might be a bit D nine like, but it will be a much higher version, and you'll see so many improvements. You will, I, I'm sure of this. You will see so many improvements in the future relationships that are coming to you. Amazing. Oh, interesting. We don't want to eliminate ego completely. Otherwise, we'd be wandering around the house each morning, drinking coffee for hours, saying, who the hell am I? We need the ego to sustain a sense of identity. Yeah, and I think this is great. I think this is... Because you're probably hard on yourself and you probably think... Um, but this is really encouraging you. This is saying, and this is saying everything that you did was right. Because you might question yourself. You might look back and you might go, ooh, was I acting out of ego? Or was I doing the wrong thing? Or no, not at all. And if anything, this uh, reading is encouraging you, be more yourself. Speak up and, and you know, be you. It's not like you needed to change something about who you were to make the relationship work no no this is kind of asking you to be more you and love the things that you love and you know have the interests that you have and be you on purpose that's what Dolly Parton said something like um find out who you are and do it on purpose oh, I love that quote such a good quote that one Ooh, interesting. If you don't change, reality in the end forces that change upon you. Yeah, and what was it that you weren't changing? You weren't changing being yourself more. Isn't that interesting? I think the thing that you weren't changing was maybe you were always trying to adapt to the other person and you weren't being yourself. Your incredibly wise, mature amazing self look at that right you're this wise person who's extremely fun and bubbly and likes to joke around and you know wants to have fun right so yeah and it's kind of like um they have those quotes about don't don't shine your sparkle and all that kind of thing as well like no, don't, don't dim your sparkle. Sorry, don't shine your sparkle. What, what on earth was I saying there? I don't know. <laughs> don't dim your sparkle or don't dim your light or I don't know. You know those cheesy things. You probably get it in a Hallmark card or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we get. Let's keep going. We've got time here. Group two. This has been such an efficient reading. We can do more quotes. Your energy is so amazing. All right, now let's see. What you put out is what you get back. And the reason so many are so short of money ah, is that they put little or nothing out. Yeah, and I mean, this, this could be love as well. Like, it's not just money. It's like love and abundance and so short of 
the things that we want maybe what you put out is what you get back and the reason so many are so short of yeah what that what you want is that they put little or nothing out and, and this is asking you to be more you like give you to the world give your vibe give your fun give your creativity you know and I know how scary that is and that like oh people think I'm weird and yeah I know <laughs> but do it because that is actually what the world wants and you're cheating the world if you don't give your uniqueness or who you are or and and some of that ego and some of that personality you know with spiritual work we're so busy trying to eliminate ego that that then and then we do become this clear and pure space but like no fill it with color and do something wild and yeah sometimes we need to do that so sometimes we're reigning in ego but equally sometimes we need to express or be crazy or joke around or have fun and yeah I think you're definitely being asked to just go for it just yeah and this could be to do with your creativity this could be to do with your business as well um, but there's a there's a very strong sense of be you be unashamedly you that is the thing I'm getting here group number two this has been such a fun reading let me know how you got on in the comments below I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three or this beautiful, now what is this, volcanic glass? <laughs> you guys have told me in the comments many times and I keep forgetting. It's picking up my thumbprints. Um, what is this, obsidian, something like that? That's oh, beautiful. Anyway, that's your stone, your crystal, put it there. And let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on. And we've got the same decks for everyone today. Saturn likes to do more with less. So I don't have as many decks. And I must say, I love using fewer decks. It, it works for me. Uh, okay. But I have so many of them now. I have shipped a box full of tarot decks back to my place. <laughs> Uh, and I've got a half like I divided them in two and I shipped one box so I've got we're operating on half of my decks and I am kind of shopping around for other decks but I'm like telling myself no don't buy them and maybe 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 when I get back to England but then you know, I also sometimes wonder when is well let's see I mean I love doing pick a card and I want to keep doing it but sometimes I wonder, am I meant to keep doing pick a card? Because like, yeah, with the channel, you know, um, these, well, the views are okay. I don't know. I know I need to keep doing it for now. So I just keep, keep going. All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, what does Saturn want you to know? Very important. Take that one. Ooh, Saturn in the first house. Challenged by authority, health issues. Matures fast, is very disciplined, excels as a judge or lawyer, loyal spouse, as a mature spouse. Okay, cool. Like it. That's, of course, Saturn's seventh aspect on the seventh house. So you will attract a mature partner, and equally, you will be a mature partner as well. So that's good might be hard on yourself though Saturn in first house oh how nice I've never drawn this oh that's so beautiful oh, look at the colors look at these two gosh they're happy come together got that what song is it is it the Beatles come together right now <laughs> and there's a little crown there oh how interesting that interesting and a bird love that all right let's take a look 
Seven of Pentacles. So there's something you are assessing. Okay, maybe there's a pause for reflection. You're assessing and you, maybe you're building something. You think, do I want to keep going with this? That kind of thing. Three of Wands. Yeah, you're in quite a reflective mood. Or let's see, looking out to the future, looking out to the horizon, seeing, and this is the thing of the ships coming back. So what you've put out there, you're like, yeah, what, what's coming back? What, you know, do I keep doing this? Funny that, because as I was shuffling your cards, I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing pick a card. Did I say that? I think I did. And yeah, I'm kind of assessing. I'm looking at my creativity and assessing and, you know. All right, we've got the wheel. Wow, the wheel's going to turn. Some destiny type thing. Let's see here. Let's have a look. I mean, if this isn't, you know, coming together um, with another person, like a partner or, or someone like that, this this just can be a thing of, uh, well, this can be a closer union with the divine. Okay, so that's one of the ways when I'm looking at readings, you know, and because there are always single people in the audience, right? And uh, yeah, if you're single, then... That's what the one way I read that, that you know, you're coming more into union with the divine as well. Feels like there's a period of downtime or not much happening before the wheel turns and the next chapter opens. All right, and we can read this Saturn when he's coming here in the first house. That's a new 30 year cycle. So you might be experiencing a period of rest before the start of a new 30 year cycle. Okay, so it could be huge, the new circle, the, the click that's gonna happen that opens a new chapter. Let's see if we can find out some more information about this. What, what's, what's the wheel doing here? Because it is about to turn, I think, in your life. But about to turn, when? About to, like, in a week from now, two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, I don't know. There, there is a period of waiting. Um, all right, let's see the wheel. What, what's this wheel thing about? Wow, three of ones again. Okay. Well, that's a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> it's like the wheel turns and you're doing more of this. You're doing more of looking out to the horizon. Um, can't be that. Come on, let's let's get some more info. Let's. So, I mean, look, there, there could be, and maybe it's that you take you you will be taking this next cycle in stride or with a bit with a bit of time or. Let's have a, no, I want one more here. Um, yeah, this, this doesn't feel settled. So let's get one more. There's two more, let's take them. Wow, temperance and burden. Interesting. Put these this way. Hmm. So healing, let's just put those there. And then we'll ask about what it is that you are assessing. What are you assessing at this time? Whoa, the universe, okay. <laughs> We're not dealing with small things here today, are we? Um, the universe, the world, right? And that could be an ending, that could be a beginning, but it's that point of completion there. Why is the Three of Wands here? Okay, Prince of Cups, introspection. Let's, let's keep 
him without seeing anything else because that did just pop out introspection this is very reflective energy in that you are there's a lot of stillness there's a lot of healing slowness and it's like there's a big big curve there's a big 30 year slow curve right This is stunning. Let's see what's going on in here because I mean that firstly just visually oh, gosh, I love this. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. What's going on in there? Yeah, I kind of feel like I want a bigger deck. Let's use this. <laughs> Let's, I mean we've got big energy here. We might as well. This is Saturn. Let's use the big deck. Why not? This is wild, okay. Come together, what's this come together thing about? Oh, that, that really does want to be here. Oh, the hermit. Wow. I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're in love with a Virgo or something. <laughs> or someone who's got strong Virgo energy. Come together, the hermit. Maybe you've been alone for a long time. Maybe it's that. Is this is this alone phase coming to an end? Let's ask that. Is that what have you been quite on your own? Group number three. Is this coming to an end? What, what well, let's uh, let's be clear about the question. So, <sighs> clarification on come together. complex this is quite complicated stuff here what is the guidance what is the guidance for group number group number three what is the guidance what do we need to know This is, it's like there are all these big things that but I can't grasp or something. What is the guidance for group number three? Nine of Wands resilience. You've got to hang in there, hang in here. Because we've also got a Ten of Wands burden. So there's some kind of you need to hang in here, hang in there. Perhaps there's a really big cycle or project or thing that you are doing. So there's a big message of hang in there. And it's this tower moment almost feels small in comparison to the big cycles and energies that you're running here. So that just doesn't feel like something you have to worry about. It's almost like, yeah, whatever it is, you're going to weather that. Hang in there. Okay. So we've got that message. Let's ask for another bit of guidance. We want another bit of guidance here for group three. Death. And it feels like death of a cycle. Again, it feels like there's a small cycle in here. But look at the overall thing. Look at these two. They're together. 
and that can be union with the divine it can be union with your lover your partner meeting the one all the beautiful things right getting closer to your family getting closer to the people around you so all of that feels on track and all of that feels good I would love to know, group number three, what's happening in, in your life these days. Let's ask for a bit of guidance from here. Let's ask for, well, let's, let's ask for a bit of guidance from here. Let's take one of these. Guidance from this deck. What, what guidance does group number three need at this time? Oh. Coming to life, wow. You are coming to life. Gosh. This is something really big, group. They've got a master number 11 as well. You are gonna to come to life. So your whole world is gonna to come to life. The universe, the whole world is gonna open up to you and come to life here. And all you need to do is hang in there it's a very abstract reading here today, group three. I hope this contains messages that you need at this time. Don't worry if what you're dealing with or going through is long and big and slow and nobody understands it and maybe it doesn't even fit into words, you know. Um, maybe it's something like that. But through this, you're going to come to life. Wow, and that's everything, that's your whole life. So maybe, maybe all the doors are gonna open again and you're gonna, you're gonna be feeling great. That is for sure coming for you. I've never seen this stunning card here. So, and that's really pretty. <laughs> all right, let's take some guidance from here. What have our masters got to say? Masters in the jar, we've got a big one. Let's take, let's take three. <laughs> let's be greedy. The camera is going to cut out the door and we'll start again. Oh, how beautiful. Through expressing my individuality, I become free. Yes. And that's this card. You're coming to life. You're going to be more you than you've ever been. More loving than you've ever been. More giving. More everything. This is more, more, more. <laughs> Okay, Stuart Wilde, if you don't have any money, it is a simple process to create in your feelings an acknowledgement that what you do have is abundance and the world is, in fact, an abundant place to be. Absolutely. And I think you know that. I think you know that, that you are abundant. And it's just about focusing more on the abundance but as well, focusing more on, on the abundance of who you are and what you have to share. And this is me. This is who I am. It's a little bit like group two. We did have a bit of that come through group two as well. So interesting. It's another big one here. Interesting. Only what can be shared is true communication. The rest is a call for help. If the recipient does not understand this, they perceive it as an attack or a judgment. And this only leads to a power struggle, which stops communication and leads to both people calling for help. This engenders fear and leads away from success. Interesting, because we do have these two here. So this is very interesting. Only what can be shared is true communication. The rest is a call for help. And the rest is stuff like complaining, blaming. Yeah, and, and you see, your recipient might think you're attacking them. And this only leads to a power struggle. But then they, your recipient might not understand that what you've been communicating is actually a call for help. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. 
which stops communication and leads to both people calling for help. I think what this is showing is that there's going to be an end to this situation. So if you're in a situation with people or someone where they're misunderstanding you or they don't get you or they don't talk to you or whatever, um, because they're needy too, it's like there'll be an end to this time and there'll be abundance and they'll be coming together and there'll be recognition that wow there, there were this whole time it was just only love and you know that kind of thing and this can be complicated with art like yeah when you watch people's art like this morning I was watching um George Carlin and he's so funny and I really enjoyed it and but he was angry, you know, and what he was what he was sharing, yeah, was it true communication? The rest is a call for help. That's interesting. Because it was fun. It was like a ten minute clip of him just like trashing America and it was funny, right? But like, you know, but there was truth in there. <coughs> oh, sorry. There was truth in there. But see, if the recipient does not understand this, they perceive it as an attack. Some people watching that clip might think, oh, he's attacking America. But no, he's not attacking America. He's, he's, he loves his country, you know. Wow, this is interesting. This quote is interesting. Let's say you don't have like a relationship now or something like that. Look at this quote in the light of some art that you like or a comedian that you enjoy their work or whatever interesting okay and let's take this as well let's be greedy this has been such a huge reading let's just let's take it all look at that we've cleared out the jar <laughs> all right what's this oh fantastic this is this is it this is what it's all about be different without concern for what others think yes yeah, you're a bit like group two, I do think group three, that you need to learn how to express yourself, be an artist, be creative. And um, you see, because otherwise then your art could be watered down as well if you're worried about like, oh no, I hope I'm not attacking someone or something like that. Like, yeah, that, that, can, that can be difficult. So I would say, be you <laughs> and be different without too much concern. There we go. You can have a little bit of concern, but, you know, but without concern for what others think. Absolutely. I think this is a terrific message uh, on which to leave this reading. Group number three, if this has been a good reading for you, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.